One of the most pristine and beautiful places on Earth is the Bladen Nature and Columbia River Forest Reserves, located in the Toledo district of southern Belize. It is the crown jewel of Belize. Some have described it as paradise. Unfortunately, this paradise is currently threatened by the proposed construction of a hydroelectric dam. The dam is proposed to be built on Central River by the Belize Hydroelectric Development and Management Company Limited, known as BHD. Central River is the source of a major watershed in Toledo. This dam will adversely affect the Columbia River, the San Miguel River, the Rio Grande, and ultimately the sea and the coral reef. The rivers of this watershed not only sustain this pristine wilderness, but are also used by thousands of people daily. For Me, I travel night and day in this river, and I know one, no dam in this river, because we drink the water. We don't have nowhere else to go drink water. We don't have nothing more than only this river. For beds, we wash dishes, for plants, for anything where we want. The whole people, the whole village, all the village them, then drink water from the river. It's over a thousand people drink water in this river. Crickejote, San Jose, Pueblo Viejo, Nalumca, and then um, this um, Rio Blanco, all those people back there, back at them village, they, river, they drink from the river. Because the rivers, they have a lot of branches, a lot of veins around them to, to meet up the other rivers, them, and that's why this will mess up the whole lot of place. And this river, they shouldn't do nothing, nothing at all. Because that will affect this river bad. What happens if the water level goes down? What happens? Hmm? Then? It will get dry, and where are we going to get water? It might dead. It might dead because that's the head there where they are going to do mess up there. The dam will be detrimental to all the communities that depend on these waters. In short, the water is their life. This is not a threat sometime in the indiscernible future. The hydro company already has a concession to build the dam. There are many questions as to how they got this concession. What consultation process was followed leading to the signing of this concession? Does our alcalde know about this concession? Does our chairman know about this concession, gentlemen? Okay. It sounds like a resounding no. Okay. So why? Why not consult with them? Why not consult with the people? Who were consulted about this concession? This agreement was signed on December 5th by, you know, our Prime Minister, Honorable Dean Barrow, and members of the of the of the company, on the part of the company. And so here we have it. December 5th, 2008. This was last year. And it says at the beginning of it, and I wanted to draw your attention to one thing uh, here. It says PSD proposes to continue and intensify its ongoing studies and develop to its fullest potential the hydroelectric resource of Rio Grande River and its tributaries, including Central River, all upstream of Rio Grande hydroelectric project, which is the existing dam, in the most environmentally sound manner, whatever they want to say. And to design, it says to design, construct, own, and operate hydroelectric generating facility all in the district. Of We're saying that this concession agreement is directly under your jurisdiction. You are the rep of Toledo West. This concession agreement was signed by the Honorable Dean Barrow on December 5th, 2008. This is the agreement. In regards to the concession agreement, I don't have any idea about that. I, uh, where okay. I saw Do you have a copy of the document? Uh, where I saw a copy of the, the document was when Yashia was giving a presentation at the a public meeting we had at, at the school. Okay, sure. And so. You're saying that you do not know anything about the concession agreement? Nothing at all. Okay. The agreement is also long term. It is long term. It says that it's for 15 years with 10 years extension. So where do the communities fit into this? It is only logical that we think where our communities fit into this. Why? Because it's 15 years, gentle people. It's 25 years down the road and they can renew that. So of course we have a lot of concerns. Because it's, it's our resources. More so, it's public resource. It's resource for all Belizeans. Were you consulted on the concession agreement? 
Were you asked? Were you asked for your opinion? Were you consulted about this concession agreement? Not at all. You were not cons not consulted, okay. Let me say that the Prime Minister, in his capacity, has all authority. Likewise, the Minister of Natural Resources. Okay. It, it's true to the extent that it is my jurisdiction, but these are people who have the final, who have the final say. Up to November 1st, when we had that meeting, it was rather something very secretive. We did not have that information. It really has taken the committee a lot to get to this, this, this information. And I must admit that some of this information has, has been gathered through the committee members uh, personally. And a lot of times when we come across these documents, you know the first thing that has been told to us? Is please do not tell anyone where you got this from. It's rather unfortunate, people. Why the secrecy? All along the way, the information has been withheld by the government and by BHD. If concerned citizens had not observed bulldozers entering the reserves, this issue might never have been brought to light. Since information has been so scarce, a fact-finding trip into the reserves was organized by a village committee of San Pedro, Colombia, in conjunction with Yakche, the co-manager of Bladen Nature Reserve, and the Belize Defense Force. Basically, it's an educational field visit uh, that the committee has embarked on. We have um, with us on this field trip uh, seven committee members with the objective of documenting what is currently happening uh, along the, the Esperanza River where the proposed uh, hydroelectric dam uh, is, 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 is expected to go up uh, should that project proceed. Presently we are on the upper Esperanza River. Uh, we've gone up several kilometers uh, from here, heading up into the headwaters, and encountered at least seven major waterfalls. We are right up on the coast of the um, Esperanza Force. This is the same river, coast of Esperanza. So I am still reaching up on the coast. So one day we take the path here. We found out from one of the persons that was actually uh, guarding uh, one of the developers' uh, camp that. There is presently a number of about uh, 10 workers uh, that are do conducting the, the research uh, work for the developer up in the, on, on the Esperanza River. As, my, as, as Mr. Kuz said, uh, we managed to get up to number 52, and obviously at that point we saw that there was uh, recent um, you know, trafficking in terms of you know, human uh, footprints. Besides the BHD workers, Shateros were encountered in the reserves. Shateros are Guatemalans who are illegally cutting chate leaf, which is sold for flower arrangements. All along the way, these Shateros are utilizing the camp, the existing camps that uh, the, um, the Hydromaya uh, developer was insta had installed in this area and had utilized during the time that they were pushing the, the road. The human traffic within the area it's very high, observed mainly through harsh trucks within the area, and the presence of humans can clearly be seen due to the many trails within the jungle itself passed by those shatterers and hunting for the shatter leaves. And added to that, the final part of the Columbia Forest Reserve, I noticed during the entire route. I didn't saw any major, I would say, game animals such as the wild pikiris or deer or at least a little ocelot, no, I didn't see anything, or a little no margay, really. no sort of wildlife. All that could be seen are basically why, um, small birds, I mean, small mm -hmm. birds. Hunting, I believe, is very common within the air by the shakiris, so you know it's quite hard to to see what type of animal has been hunted, but I would say feathers are, are part along the, the road and also with expanded cartridges, you know, 16 gauge, 20 gauge and whatnot, expanded cartridges along the, the road.